Hello again. November ended on a mostly fine note across the UK, but we do have some very heavy rain on the way as we begin meteorological winter. An amber warning for heavy rain across parts of Wales on Monday. It's all courtesy of this frontal system moving in from the southwest. Associated with it will be this plume of much milder air, and that milder air allowing more in the way of heavy rain to develop as we go through the day on Monday. The ice bar is also squeezing together as well, so it will be a windy start to the new working week as well. But back to Sunday evening, and temperatures are quickly falling away in the east underneath clearing skies, so an early frost perhaps for parts of northeast Scotland. But temperatures will actually rise through the course of the night, and we see much more in the way of cloud and outbreaks of rain pushing in from the west, so turning into a wet and windy night across the vast majority of the UK. These really intense bursts of rain shown here by these yellow, orange and red shades on the map. So some particularly heavy and persistent rain by the end of the night across parts of Wales and the higher ground of western Scotland and western parts of England. Here an amber weather warning coming into a, um, effect across parts of uh, central and southern parts of Wales and yellow warnings for rain in place across parts of southwest Scotland and western parts of England and the rest of Wales. So a particularly windy end of the night, coastal gales through the Irish Sea and around some southwestern coasts as well. But look at these temperatures by the end of the night. A 10, 11 degrees Celsius, so much milder compared to uh, on Sunday morning, for example. Now, it's the rain that we're particularly concerned about as we go through the day on Monday. This graphic here is just looking at how much rain could fall in the 24-hour period of Monday. And we could well see around half a month's worth of rain falling in the wettest locations. So parts of South Wales over the higher ground could potentially see over 100 millimetres. And potentially for Snowdonia, similar amounts here. And the Cumbrian Fells could, could easily see 80 to 120 millimetres of rain. That's likely to bring some, some flooding. And we do have a number of weather warnings in place through the day on Monday. Yellow warnings from central and southwestern parts of Scotland, down across northwestern parts of England, many parts of Wales and the southwest of England. Here, widely 20 to 40 millimetres of rain, 50 to 80 millimetres across the high ground. And as I say, an amber warning in place across parts of Wales where the most exposed spots could easily see 100 millimetres or more, and that's likely to lead to some travel disruption and some fairly widespread flooding. So do stay tuned to the weather warnings on our website and leave yourself some extra time if you are travelling. As we go through the day on Monday, the rain will tend to ease somewhat from parts of Northern Ireland and Western Scotland. So we should see at least some sunshine developing here, but there will be some blustery showers in the northwest. Most of the wet weather becoming confined to southern Scotland and England and Wales, but some very intense bursts of rain through the afternoon, particularly for South Wales and South West England. Now, the southeast of the UK might just see the rain a bit more intermittent through the course of the day, so some dry interludes here. And with those strong southwesterly winds, we are going to see a much milder day. So despite it being windy with coastal gales, particularly in the west, temperatures across England and Wales, 12 or 13 degrees, if not higher. So much, much milder than on Sunday. Across Scotland and Northern Ireland, temperatures a little bit closer to average, 8 to 10 degrees Celsius here. And winds will ease across Scotland and Northern Ireland as we go through the afternoon and into the evening. That rain may well just come back in from the south across the east of Scotland, though, through Monday night. Generally, though, as we go through the early hours of Tuesday morning, the rain will tend to ease away um, from west to east. And so by the time we get to Tuesday morning, a lot of the UK will be a bit drier with some clearer spells. There will still be some showers around, particularly in the north and the west. And some of these will be heavy, the chance of the odd uh, rumble of thunder and some hail mixed in as well. And a cooler night to come, although most places will stay frost free, we could just see one or two icy patches and some patchy frost across uh, central and northern parts of Scotland. Now for Tuesday, it's looking like a much more brighter day for most. There will be some showers around, and some areas will see some fairly frequent showers, particularly across southern coastal counties of England, up through the Irish Sea, across Wales, and some western parts of Scotland. So here, again, the risk of some hail and thunder mixed in at times. Eastern parts of the UK, though, generally holding on to dry weather with the best of the sunshine, and temperatures down somewhat compared to on Monday, but still a little bit above average in the south, 10 or 11 degrees Celsius here, more like 6 to 8 degrees Celsius further north, and it will still be fairly blustery, particularly in the north and the west. Now, if you'd like any more details on the weather forecast for the week ahead, do make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you never miss any updates. That's everything from me, and I'll see you again very soon.